what's up everyone? This is Valentina Brega and welcome to Build with VAs. In this show, we talk about how to scale a business and how to grow with the help of virtual assistants and not only. So guess where I am? I am at Funnel Hacking Live and this episode is gonna be special. I wanna tell you what I personally got from attending this kind of event. And if you're not here, why are you missing out? Stay tuned. So it took me about three days. This is the last day of the event. Three days to finally find a quieter place where I can film this. So let me tell you why I love being here. First of all, it's the mindset. I realized how different my mindset was before the event and after the event. So the number one thing why I really like this event is because I get to network with impressive individuals. My goodness, the type of people that I spoke with, these are people who have seven figures, eight figures, nine figures in their business. And what I really like about Funnel Hacking Life, this event, is they have this walk of fame and there are names of people who achieve this amazing success in their business. And I get to ask them questions. What did they do to get to where they are? And I was absolutely blown away by how open-minded they were by how willing they were to share with me their secrets, their success, and something that I can implement in my business right now. If you're really interested in seeing how those interviews and the people that I spoke with, make sure to follow me on social media because they will be available soon and you don't want to miss this. I'm gonna rewatch it again and again and again until I implement those things in my business and see how it takes off. Number one thing, this is why I like masterminds like this. And reason number two why I like this event is because I get to recharge my batteries. So here's one realization we had while being at this event we realized that we were still working in our business, not on our business. And interestingly enough, and I'm gonna to be totally vulnerable here, this is the message that we tell other people to do. We say, hey, get a virtual assistant because you need to be working on your business, not in your business. And I have a team of seven virtual assistants and I still can completely detach from work. I'm still very much involved in my business. And I realized that the whole thing needs to change. I need to be focused more on working on my business, working on building trust, building visibility, just doing more entrepreneurial things and trust my team that they will take care of the busy work. I need to trust my team more and they've proven over and over again how capable they are and how well they can take things off my plate. So the reason why I like this is that helped me recharge my batteries and recharge my focus. I took a step back from the business. I was here not doing any work and guess what? My business is fine. The team is taking care of everything. Everything is running as smoothly as if I was working with them alongside. So that was just another indicator to trust the people that you have recharge your batteries, take a step back from your business and see how much are you really needed in that company, in your day-to-day -day operations and whether you are holding your company back by not doing more things, which is actually bringing me to number three. And the third reason why I like to attend these events is because I get to level up my skills and that's exactly what happened here. I know exactly now what I need to do, how I need to focus on that, for how long, when am I going to start seeing results and what kind of skill set I need to have, what I need to be working on. My marketing needs to be better. My sales need to be better. Everything that I can control needs to be better. And how, what does better look like? Now I have a framework. Now I know what that looks like. Now I know exactly what I'm not doing right in social media and so on. And speaking with people here who are so inspirational, people who have had success, people who showed us how they achieved to that success through hardship, made me realize that I'm no different than anyone else and if they can do it, I can do it. What one person can do, another person can do as well. So number four, why I like attending this event is because I get to speak with the real people and it just brings me back on earth saying that these people are real. They exactly going through the same thing that we did. So we had this entrepreneur on stage who was talking about how she built her YouTube channel and now it's generating over, I don't know, thousands of dollars per day, but how long it took her, what struggles she had, how close she was to giving up. And this is one mistake that a lot of people make. People quit the moment it starts getting hard. But the true potential is if you continue working, knowing that this, hey, this is when people quit, so I need to get over this hurdle and it's gonna be better. So all of this is just, success is not an overnight thing. We're all jealous of that success that we see in others, but until you've tried what they've tried, you haven't earned the right to be jealous. Until you've been in their shoes, until you've learned how to persevere, how to continue, how not to give up, until you master that, you do not have the right to be jealous of that person or you haven't earned the right to compare yourself to them. So be in their shoes and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. And the reason number five, and probably one of the most important reasons why I like coming to these events is because you are surrounded by people like you. And here's what I mean. When you go home, entrepreneurship feels a little bit lonely. When you get home, maybe your family doesn't believe in the, in the idea that you have, or you don't get the kind of support from your friends or from family members or whoever that is. And here you feel like this is your people, this is your tribe. These are people who can elevate you and 
these are people who instill that belief in you that you can do it. And for me, this is very important. I am very fortunate to have support in the family, but not all of my friends understand me. Not even some you know, distant family doesn't understand me. Maybe they have different priorities. They may want to go out. They like to spend money on different things. They don't understand why I would spend money going on masterminds or why I would go to this kind of conferences. But to me, it is giving points to my self-confidence it is elevating my business and I know that I'm sacrificing this money this time now, but I will reap the benefits later on. It's a delayed gratification that I'm not spending it on going out to concerts or anything like that, but it is something that's bringing me a lot of joy. And this is my reward, my treat. And as an entrepreneur, I feel so wonderful being around these people and I can ask them questions. So many people approach me and said, hey, how do you do this in your business? How do you do that? I get to ask them as well. And it is find a tribe, find the people who elevate you, who support you, and it is just incredible. That is probably one of the main reasons why I come here. Yeah, you can buy a course, you can watch something on TV, but it's not the same. This is a group effect that's elevating everyone. And the inspiration that you feel like you're ready to take action and you're ready to go and you have the support and it's just phenomenal. So there you go, my top five reasons why I'm here. This year I have a couple other events and I can't wait to get to them as well. So thanks for tuning in. If you go to events like that, let me know what is it that you're getting out of this event. Why not just get a course? Why not just hear someone talk? Why actually go in person and being with like-minded people? Why are you getting out of that? So let me know. Thanks, guys.